हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू प्रेटिव एनालिटिक्स सेशन वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग टुडे न्यूरल नेटवर्क्स एंड डीप लर्निंग जस्ट टू हैव ए क्विक रिकैप इन आवर लास्ट सेशन वी हैव लर्न्ड सीपीयू इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ कन्वोल्यूशनल न्यूरल नेटवर्क्स इन दिस सेशन we will move to gpu and see how our neural network performs our session information is implementation of convolutional neural networks using pytorch on gpu now next come to python implementation open the notebook that you have worked in your last session so let's continue type command torch cuda is available this is to check whether cuda is installed in your laptop or not then press run and you check the command if it is true then import copy type gpu d type torch cuda float tensor now we will be using a gpu friendly data type instead of cpu type fixed model gpu is equal to copy deep copy in bracket fixed model base type gpu d type this line creates a deep copy of our model defined before in deep copy a copy of object is copied in other object it means that any changes made to a copy of object do not reflect in the original object next type x gpu is equal to torch randen in bracket 64 32232 then type gpu underscore d type let's create some random data for our model to check everything is configured properly or not type x gpu x var gpu is equal to variable in bracket x type gpu d type construct a pytorch variable out of your input data answer is equal to fixed model gpu in bracket a. x var gpu feed it through the model check to make sure what comes out of your model is is the right dimensionality has been taken the following line should return to true if you have done everything correctly next type np array equal in bracket np array ans size np array in bracket 64 
you have to ensure brackets are properly placed and then press run. So, it is showing true that means everything has been perfectly configured. Now, run the following cell to evaluate the performance of the forward pass running on a CPU. Time it and equal to fixed model in bracket x var time it you have to press run here you will find 45.5 millisecond 951 microsecond per loop with the mean standard deviation of 7 runs 10 loops each now next type time it torch cuda synchronize make sure there are no pending gpu computations then type ANS is equal to fixed model GPU in bracket X where GPU feed it through the model. Then torch CUDA synchronize and again make sure that there are no pending GPU computations. Then press run. And now we find 10.8 millisecond, which is drastically been less as compared to CPU, where we have found 47 millisecond. And similarly, per loop, it has come down to 266 microsecond in comparison to CPU 951 microsecond. So we can see how using GPU, the things has taken much lesser time to do the processing and giving us the output. Then type loss function loss fn is equal to nn cross entropy loss. Let us define our loss function. Optimizer is equal to optim rm rms prop in bracket fixed model GPU parameters LR is equal to 0.001 as we did in our last training session let us define optimizer we will be using RMS prop same as we have used in our last time and then press run. Next type def train in bracket model loss function optimizer num epochs that is let us define a training function that will help us in training the model for e epoch in range in bracket num epochs this is looping through the epochs print in bracket starting epoch and then epoch plus 1 num epochs then model train that next we train the model for t in bracket x y enumerate loader train 
नेक्स्ट टाइप एक्स वायर इज इक्वल टू वेरिएबल एक्स टाइप एक्स टाइप जी पी यू डी टाइप इट स्टोर द डेटा ऑफ एन इपॉक नेक्स्ट टाइप वाई वायर इज इक्वल टू वेरिएबल वाई टाइप जी पी यू डी टाइप लॉन्ग दिस विल स्टोर द करेक्ट क्लास लेवल्स फॉर द डेटा स्कोर्स इज इक्वल टू मॉडल एक्स वायर दिस विल कंप्यूट द स्कोर्स ऑफ क्लासेस लॉस इक्वल टू लॉस एफ एन इन ब्रैकेट स्कोर्स वाई वायर now compute the loss using the predicted class scores and the correct class scores if t plus 1 in bracket print every equal to 0 print t loss then t plus 1 loss data so this will print our loss next optimizer zero grad this sets all garbage data in our optimizer to zero loss backward this is backprop of the gradient recall from our previous learning session then that we have done in our learning session second optimizer step type and move the optimizer to the next step next def check accuracy in bracket model loader this function will help to check the accuracy of the network if loader data set train if a data loader is working on training data it will check accuracy on validation set print that is checking accuracy on validation set else otherwise it will check on test set print checking accuracy on test set then num correct is equal to 0 num correct is equal to 0 has to be type which means stores the number of correct answers similarly num samples that is stores the total number of samples and then model eval that is put the model in test mode the opposite of model train essentially now for x y in loader x var equal to variable x type gpu d type volatile is equal to true again store data in x var scores is equal to model x var compute the scores then 
प्रेड्स इक्वल टू स्कोर्स डेटा सीपीयू मैक्स इक्वल टू स्टोर द प्रडिक्शन ऑफ मॉडल एज वी सो इन ट्रेन फंक्शन नेक्स्ट टाइप नाम करेक्ट इक्वल टू प्रेड्स इक्वल टू वाई साम दिस स्टोर्स नंबर ऑफ करेक्ट सैम्पल्स देन नाम सैम्पल्स प्रेड साइज दिस विल स्टोर द टोटल नंबर ऑफ सैम्पल्स नेक्स्ट ए सी सी इक्वल टू फ्लोट इन ब्रैकेट नाम करेक्ट नाम सैम्पल्स फाइनली कैलकुलेट द एक्यूरेसी फाइनली प्रिंट गॉट करेक्ट इन ब्रैकेट नाम करेक्ट नाम सैम्पल्स हंड्रेड नेक्स्ट प्रेस रन we find there is no error that means everything is going fine type torch cuda random manual seed 1 2 3 4 putting a seed manually so it will generate same random numbers every time it is useful when you want to share your results with someone so they can cross verify your claims then fixed model gpu apply reset remember the reset function that we have made before this line will reset all our parameters before we start training again train in bracket fixed model gpu loss fn optimizer nam epochs equal to 1 now calling our train functions check accuracy in bracket fixed model gpu loader well this is checking accuracy of our model command we have found the error name as loss it is not defined so we can go to that instead of gn we have put the function fn and then run so we can see it has been correctly taken it will start epochs so let's define a new model this time quickly we'll write the model we have discussed all these layers before so just refresh and check if coding can be done we have got 527 out of 1000 is correct
नेक्स्ट इज मॉडल इज इक्वल टू सिक्वेंशियल टाइप कॉन टू डी डी एन एन कॉन टू डी इन ब्रैकेट इन चैनल्स इक्वल टू थ्री आउट चैनल्स इक्वल टू थर्टी टू कर्नल साइज इक्वल टू थ्री स्ट्राइड इक्वल टू वन रिमेम्बर लास्ट टाइम इन स्ट्राइड वी हैव गॉट एन एडर एंड करेक्टेड इट पैडिंग इक्वल टू वन then you must be remembering relu in place equal to true batch norm 2d that is the num features equal to 32 next you can copy and here you can change it You have to make it thirty-two, then sixty-four. Kernel size is three, and rest all are similar. Stride one, padding one. Again, you can also copy paste relu in place equal to true. Similarly, you can copy paste also batch norm two D. नाम फीचर्स एंड चेंज वैल्यू थर्टी टू बाई सिक्सटी फोर नेक्स्ट टाइप मैक्स पुल टू डी कर्नल साइज इक्वल टू टू साइड टू रिमेम्बर आफ्टर दिस द कमांड इज येस इज फ्लैटेन so n n linear in bracket 16384 that is basically 64 into 32 into 32 input size then relu in place equal to True. Then batch norm D num features equal to one zero two four. Then linear in bracket one zero two four ten. Next is. मॉडल जीपीयू इक्वल टू मॉडल टाइप इक्वल टू मॉडल टाइप इन ब्रैकेट जीपीयू डी टाइप दिस इज एक्चुअली असाइनिंग द जीपीयू डेटा टाइप टू आर मॉडल देन टाइप लॉस एफ एन दैट इक्वल टू क्रॉस एंट्रोपी लॉस टाइप जीपीयू डी टाइप ऑप्टिमाइजर इक्वल टू ऑप्टिम एडम इन ब्रैकेट पैरामीटर equal to model gpu parameters lr equal to 10 e to the rest minus 3 we'll use adam for this example total epochs equal to 5 total epochs are 5 and epoch completes 
when the whole data set goes through the training process. Generally, you will use hundreds of epochs depending on your data set and it takes a lot of time to train but in this lesson we will be only running maximum 5 epochs since for practicing it however you will be needing more but if we do it on more it will take lot of time unnecessarily for this session now type for epoch in range in bracket total epochs train model GPU loss FN optimizer num epochs equal to 1 train the model check accuracy model GPU loader well then check its accuracy press run you can see starting epoch is 1 This will take some time to train. In the meanwhile, let's see different convolutional neural network architecture. The accuracy of a model can be highly improved by increasing the number of epochs, adjusting hyperparameters like learning rate, doing image segmentation, cross validation techniques, using different architectures like VGG, Inception Net, ResNet. You can go to browser. Google Chrome. This is the VGG. We can check VGG architecture. So we can find a very informative deep very deep convolutional networks for large scale image recognition this you can download and this paper is a must read so that how deep convolutional networks are used for large scale image recognition we can check currents and andrews paper here it gives the architecture 11 weight layers have been used then it has used 64 then next layer is 128 followed by 256 256 then 512 512 and fi after that 512 512 so we have seen some pooling layers in between with max pool 
as we have learned pulling previously then we find fully connected layers that is FC4096, FC4096, FC1000 and finally with softmax. So last layer you can change it as per your requirement. It is the classification that you can do it. This will refresh the CNN that we have discussed in previous lessons and VGG is a simple layer, VGG2 nets, multi-crop and dense evaluation, it shows top 5 validation error is 6.8 percent only Google net has 7.9 percent which is higher hence this you can be used for training with a very good accuracy next we can check so we can see the second Epoch is getting used and 3 more has to go. Meanwhile, let's check another architecture which is more popular in this image recognition that is with inception net going deeper with convolutions so this paper will give the architecture on inception net which has more advantage as compared to our VGG 16. Here two distinct class from thousand classes of ILS VRC 2014 classification challenge where Siberian Husky is differentiated from Eskimo dog. This paper is a must read. Here you can find the architecture and layers of inception. Similarly, convolution with followed by max pool then convolution followed by max pool then inception 3a 3b then again max pool inception 4a 4b 4c 4d 4e followed by max pool inception 5a 5b average pool dropout 40 percent linear softmax we can find the architecture you 
you can pause the session to look at it closely and read its minutest details here error in top 5% level for supervision is 16.4% again for supervision is 15.3% image net 22k for clarify it's 11.7 percent clarify is 11.2 percent for image net 22k so supervision uh, there is a higher percentage of error as uses external data has not been used for msra error is 7.35 percent vgg is 7.32 and finally the google net it's the least that is 6.67 percent so here we can see three epochs has been and it is into the fourth one so last will be the fifth one after that we can find the result it is showing that 625 of thousand is correct next it got 693 of thousand is correct then 701 of thousand is correct and after that it has got 708 of 1000 is correct we are at the 70.8 percent accuracy level let's look at the last epoch it is highly recommended to read the research papers like vgg Alex net inception net and rest net etc to improve your understanding of different architectures for CNN here for this session we have only used five epochs because we can see how much time it is taking only to train the five epochs that's why higher version of gpus are always recommended so that the process of training validation can be made more faster So it will take some time we are at the last epoch 73 percent accuracy you can see 73.20 accuracy it is showing 
and training loss value has considerably decreased. It has went down to 0 0.038. So here we find the best model equal to model 1. This will store the model parameters of the epoch with the best validation accuracy in best model variable. Check accuracy best model loader test recheck the accuracy to cross verify our accuracy Meanwhile, you can find the link to ResNet paper. This is deep residual learning for image recognition. This is from Microsoft Research. where an ensemble of this residual net achieves 3.57 percent error on an image net test set. This result has won the first place on the IELS VRC 2015 classification task. Present the analysis on CIFAR 10 with 100 and 1000 layers. We are also using CIFAR 10 for this learning session. You have to go through this paper on ResNet and its architecture. If you do not find it easy, you can send your queries to us while you implement this architecture. We can see VGG 16 top 5 layer accuracy is 9.33 percent while Google net is 9.15 percent. Now for the rest net 34A is 7.76, rest net 34B is 7.46 and rest net 34C is 7.40. Rest net 152 is 5.71 percent in the top 5 error. So, uh, 152 means 152 layers are there. So, it is very, very deep.
here we have found in our training in the last epoch accuracy has increased to 74.20 percent this will go on for a while so now you have fully understood the function and let's stop this cell and move on to the next cell so stop button and then run to move on to the next cell next will be checking our accuracy you can see that final accuracy is showing 73.04 percent the accuracy of a model can be highly improved by increasing the number of epochs adjusting hyperparameters like learning rate doing image segmentation cross validation techniques using different architectures that we have seen like vjg inception net and rest net thus we come to the end of this learning session thank you hope you have found this session informative and for any queries you can send email to us at the following ids